This thing recording? All right. All right, everybody out there in the Craft Chest Nation. is I, Craft Chest, here with another story time. And today is a story about disappointment. And it's in disappointment in the fact that people can't take five minutes out of their busy day, paid five minutes, mind you, to help a brother out with a jump start. And it all started a couple of days ago. It is partially my fault. It's partially my fault because all I had to do, pop the trunk, disconnect the battery, and I wouldn't have been in this situation. So I kind of did it to myself, all right? I'm not blaming anybody for what happened, but that's neither here nor there because when you're in the business to actually help people out with their cars and you don't want to help them with their cars, I call bullshit on that. All right, and here's what happened. So two days ago, um, I went to the store and uh, everything was fine. I get home and the push button on my center console shifter, because it's like right here in between, you push the button, pull it in gear, push the brake, all that, you know how it works. So anyway, I get home and I push it up and the button didn't disconnect. Well, the key to my car didn't turn all the way off. Well, I jiggled a little bit and bumped it up, you know, boom, 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 until it went back into the accessory mode, uh, which is the first click, not lights on mode, but just accessory mode. Well, it shouldn't have been a big deal because the radio is hardwired in anyway, and there's no other interior lights that are not on a toggle switch or push button. So I noticed that the exterior lights went off like they should. And so I thought everything was fine. Well, yesterday I didn't go anywhere. Didn't have a need to, whatever. I just didn't go anywhere. And today uh, I needed to go to the store and grab some food because I'm out. I got like three packs of ramen noodles left and that's it um, as far as food. So I had to go get some groceries and I went out to the car and it is dead. Like when I say dead, I mean, it's like there ain't a battery connected, which probably means the battery might be discharged. And like I said, it's partially my fault because all I had to do is reach back there. I got a ratchet that's already set up for batteries and lights and all that. So, you know, to take the covers off of stuff. And that's all I had to do is just loosen the battery, take the post off, go fix it when I can. Well, I come in and actually researched it and I feel like so silly because I could have done this. There is a button, and I'm not going to tell you where the button is, but there's a cover and a, I mean, and it pushes so simple. It's like just very simple, like pushing the air. You don't even feel it. You push this button, the key releases. And I, that's another thing I could have done, I guess. But I didn't, I didn't think it was any big deal. Well, long story short, my battery's dead. Well, luckily for me, I thought there is a mechanic shop literally right next door i hear them working on cars that's how close it is okay there's like my place a building it's not a house just a building and then the mechanic shop i could throw a rock and hit it and i can't throw very well all right so i walk over there and i said hey i live over here um at jp's place you don't know you know who you know i don't know if you know who that is or not but that's so and so whatever and he goes, what can I do for you? I was like, well, I was wondering if you had a jump box or maybe somebody that could come right next door and give me a jump right quick. I'll pay for it. I'm not trying to freeload or nothing like that, but I just, my battery's dead. You know, I kind of need to go to town and uh, could you, you know, help me out or can I bring the battery over here and, you know, y'all trickle charge it, you know, something. Can you help me? Well, no, there ain't but two of us in this exact words now. Well, no, there ain't, there ain't but two of us here today and I don't, I don't think we'll be able to do that. Um, I was like, well, I'm, I'm literally, I live right there. Like you can see my place. If you go out to the end of your driveway, you can see it. You can see my car. It's right there. Yeah, well, ain't but two of us here, you know, and we kind of backed up busy. I was like five minutes of your time, bro. No, no, can't do it. So I was like, all right, well, thank you. And I left. I was like, all right, whatever. So I come back and I go out to the shop and there's a trickle charger out there. I don't know if the damn thing even works. And I got it hooked up to the battery right now. I went out and checked it to see the status on it. It says charge. I turned the key. Oh, well, I disconnected the thing. I hooked it back up. Still nothing. So the battery's probably discharged. So I'm going to have to get a ride to the Walmart and get that replaced. But ain't that kind of... I'm going to be honest with you. I'm just going to throw it out there. That's kind of shitty. That you're in the business of fixing cars. And there's a house next door to you. And you can't, you, you could literally drive through their yard into this one if you had to, to make it quick. You didn't even have to get on the road. It's that close. Give me a jump right quick. I give you $10 under the table on the bills. I don't give a fuck. 
jump my battery, and everybody has a nice day. Five minutes is all that would have took. If, the if there was something wrong with the battery, I'd have told him, don't worry about it. He, like, if it wouldn't get any type of jump or whatever to it, I would have told him, don't even worry about it. It's my fault, you know, because I already knew what happened. But that's just kind of crazy. And the reason why I'm sweating, here's the reason why I'm sweating. So I still need a food, right? Because I'm rocking three bags of ramen in here. All right, donations haven't been coming in. Twitch payment still waiting on it to process. I hope it ain't 45 days from the process day, because if it is, I'm screwed. Um, my 235 came in today to pay my utilities, or some of them anyway. I can't pay the rent this week. But anyway, that's neither here nor there. I need a food. So luckily for me, in the opposite direction of this mechanic shop, exactly one half mile is the DG, Dollar General. And so I wetted me up a little rag, or half of it anyway. It's fully wet right now with my sweat. But, uh... I uh, I put on, tightened up my shoelaces, and I booked it on down there. And I left here about 205, between 205 and 210, because I was like, ain't nothing going to get done. Ain't nobody available to help you, because there wasn't no, nobody. I couldn't get anybody to help me jumpstart today. The neighbors wouldn't even answer the door. Fuck the neighbors, man. Them people over there, I'll tell you the truth. And so anyway, I, and I didn't want to bug Kenny and JP because they got they got kids and this is their day off and all that. I, I ain't feel like bothering them with this. All right, that's the reason why I didn't even call them. Um, so I booked it on down there. I went down there, did my little shopping, grabbed me a pizza, a couple of little knickknacks. They had fries on sale for like two bucks a bag, which was amazing for like the checker fries or whatever it is. And oh, dang. I didn't grab any chocolate. I meant to grab some dark. They got these little dollar bags of uh, Dove dark chocolate, but that's okay. I didn't get any. My bad. Uh, and a couple of Jolt Colas. You know, just something simple, like like 10 bucks worth of shit. Well, I don't know how much it was. 10 or $15 worth of stuff. And booked it on back. And I got there to the store, half mile away, did my shopping, chit-chatted with the cashier a little bit, and made it back to the house at 2.32 what my old behind was trucking and i'm surprised i ain't like i ain't breathing hard and about to fall out my pulse it's back to almost normal and i'm cooling off because i'm sitting here still talking to you so i'm dissipating that heat and i would have my shirt off when i'm making a video i ain't want y'all to get scared of the muscles brothers i didn't want to flex on anybody like that you know the pythons they got to breathe so i'm gonna have to end this film here in just a minute but anyway, long story short is, folks, seriously, unless you've just got a major problem with somebody, all right, if you have somebody come to you, now, if it's a habit, I get it. If it's all the time, fine. But if it's once in a blue moon and somebody says, hey, bro, can you come give me a jump? Or, hey, bro, can you help me push my car someplace? Or, hey, bro, can you pick this up? Help me pick this up. Whatever it is. Whatever it is. Take five. I mean, just ask them how long is it going to take you think because, you know. I got shit to do. Just let them know, you know? And if it takes five minutes, take five minutes out of your day and help somebody. That's all you got to do, all right? That's all you got to do. Just help somebody. And if you just absolutely can't help somebody, but you know somebody who can that, you know, you may be able to help a brother out, do so, man. It, it's just it's just called, you know, having manners. We're, we're, it's 2018, I know. And we got to be careful of who we trust and who we help. Yes, that's a fact. But also, too, it doesn't take away from who we are as a, as a society, okay? And that's something, especially down here in the South, you know, we take care of our own, not that you other people in the United States, because I know there's a lot of separation. Y'all like to think there's not, all right? That's like Europeans, they have these opinions about us, they don't even know us that well, you don't, you don't know my life. But down here, for the most part, we take care of each other, all right? And we're getting away from that as a society, not just down here in the South. All right, but we're getting away from taking care of people and understanding situations because of the handful of jack legs out there that don't want to do right. Suffer the masses because of the few that don't want to do right. And that's the wrong answer. We can't do that. All right, you got to let those people burn their bridges and stay on the other side of them. All right, the people that, that uh, are deserving and maybe not so deserving, but you want to make a difference and tell them don't forget what I've done for you, be sure and pay it forward to somebody or back to me. All right? That's, what we, that's who we should be. No matter where you are on this planet, no matter what your beliefs are or whatever. All right? Does that make sense to everybody? It's a craft of the mind. Go out there and have some fun and be nice to somebody. Do a good deed. All right? 
if you really want to be a good deed and you want to support this channel and support me during these trying times hit the links below I really appreciate it other people have here recently thank you for that $5 donation from uh, Neo $25 donation from sick kid and all you other folks out there that have uh, contributed with bits and subs and everything else and just being there um, is, is the biggest support of all all right go out there and have some fun everybody woo